Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Few days back I asked you one question and it was regarding conversion of 24 bits to 8 bits or we can say that 3 bytes to 1 byte conversion. Many of you try to answer it and one of our channel member gave one of the solution though it is unoptimized solution but it is working one. Firstly I am going to share that unoptimized solution and later on I will share the optimized solution. And now without wasting much time, let us get started and see the unoptimized solution first. Friends, before going into the solution, let us write the problem statement. Friends, the problem statement is on your screen. Here you have to design this unknown logic. Its input is a data in bus which is 24 bits long or 3 bytes long. It has another signal which is 1 bit long. It is called valid, data valid signal, data valid in. And this is the clock signal where both input side and output sides are working. Now let us see the output side. It has one data output which is 8 bits long along with one valid signal which is data valid out. This is one bit signal. Now in its operation when we apply 3 bytes of data at the input along with this valid signal that should travel to the output in 3 clock cycles in consecutive 3 clock cycles and the sequence of events will be firstly we will transfer the LSV byte then the mid byte then the MSV bytes friends the important point to keep in mind is whenever this data valid in is high then only this data in will be considered as a valid data similarly when this data valid out is high then only data out will be considered as valid data output so when we give input data valid in will come for one clock cycle and we will apply three bytes so corresponding to that data we will give this these three bytes at data output in three clock cycles and this data valid out will remain high for three clock cycles then only this data will be considered as valid data friends one last thing about the problem statement here is a note as a clock on the input side and output side is same so there will be two idle clock cycle after each data valid input to rate match between the output and input because there is no memory inside our logic. So whenever we apply data at the input after that two clock cycle will be idle clock cycles so that we can give data at its output. Now you have to write its very log code. Friends to implement any functionality we can design our digital designs in various ways. So for the given problem statement, one of our channel member has implemented the design in this way. But according to me, it is an unoptimized way, though they are claiming that it is working on. Let us see how they wrote this RTL code. They declared two wires data out, data valid out, which will be effectively output signals. Here I am not showing the module definition or end module things. I know that most of you know about it. These two wires data out, data valid out are the output signals. Apart from these two, he is declaring byte select. It is one of the counter. Then three more variables. Data mid FF, data MSV FF1, data MSV FF2. These three registers of 8 bits long. Now we know that whenever data in comes, valid also comes along with it for one clock cycle. But I need to give output at 8 bits. By that time my valid signal will go away. That means I have to lash this data somewhere. So in the first go what they are doing, they are taking the mid byte. Data in is 24 bits, 7 down to 0, they are not flopping anywhere to save area. But 15 down to 8, they are putting it into one of the flop. And the MSV byte, 23 down to 16, they are putting it in another flip flop. And on MSV byte, they are putting one more flip flop. The plan is in the first clock cycle, when data valid comes along with data valid in, we will pass the LSV byte. And in the next clock cycle, they will pass the mid byte using this flip flop. And in the third clock cycle, they will pass MSV data with the help of data MSV FF2. 
So this is the byte select. It is one of the counter. When its value is zero, we will pass the LSV byte. When its value is one, we will pass the mid byte with the help of data mid FF. When data when byte select is two, we will pass the MSV byte with the help of this flip uh, register data MSV FF two. Else this data out will remain zero. Now let us see how this byte select is controlled. On reset, byte select will be zero, and whenever data valid comes, which is one clock cycle only, and initially byte select will be zero. So this is not true, but there is a or condition. But we will come inside this when data valid in comes. Byte select will increment its value by one because this is false. Byte select is not equal to two; it is zero currently. Byte select will become one. So initially. When data is just applied along with the data in valid, this LSV data will start passing to data out because byte select by, by default its value is zero. Now, when data valid comes in the next log cycle, byte select will become one as per this condition just we just discussed. So, when byte select is one, so data mid FF will be passed to data out. Now, again in the third log cycle. Byte select value is one, so this becomes true. So byte select will become equal to two by incrementing its value. So when it is two, we'll pass data MSV FF two to data out. That is the MSV byte. So this is how we pass data to the output with the help of one counter byte select. But now when it is two and it is not equal to zero, this condition will again become true. And now byte select is equal to So what we will do? We will make byte select zero. So again, we will start passing the LSV byte to data out once our data transfer is complete. Now this this was all about data out cal calculation. Now data valid out calculation. It is equal to data invalid. Whenever data valid comes, we will just sign it to this. Or whenever byte select is greater than zero, that means when it is one or two. After two, it it rolls back to zero. Then also data valid out will remain high. That means for consecutive three clock cycles, data valid out will be high whenever we receive any data invalid. Friends, I hope that this RTL code is clear to you. If still you have any doubt, please write down in the comment section and we can discuss it there. Friends, whatever code you saw in this video is an unoptimized solution. And I'm not going to share the optimized solution in this video just to avoid the length of the video. So I will share the optimized solution in the next video. So those who are really interested to see that video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Friends, I hope that you would have liked this video. If you really like this video, please press the like button and you can share your feedback in the comment section. Once again, thanks for watching and your time.